Let's rewind it and listen to what we've got. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel part 7 tweaking. Today for our short stream, we focused on exporting some MP3 and MIDI files to work with and begin visualization. And we followed our usual pattern of uh, exporting from here as a we have options to export as MP3s and as MIDIs. So that's what we have done. And what we've come up with so far is we uh, made little squares, big, 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 and each square color is being driven by the MIDI file. And we picked each note based on what's in the actual composition. So for example, up here, the theme is B flat A. And we coded that's the B flat and that's the A. So when we play it here, uh, we get the theme and we'll just go ahead and play the whole thing for you. We still have some more tweaking to do. Um, we have eight notes programmed. There's eight notes in the actual composition. Um, and we're working on getting all eight of them to show up in these dark squares. Here we go. And we will turn the mic off for this. And that is the end of that. And um, one of the things we just realized is uh, when we say this is MIDI source, it is actually track one. And track one is the melodic. So what we just visualized was the melodic only. We heard the entire song because this up here is being driven by the entire uh, composition. But these notes are being driven. In this case, we have a one line for melodic so we'll probably want to do so the result is um, have visualized the melodic yay and then next steps ideas visualize the arpeggio and cadence lines, parts. And then we have some ideas here for, for timbre model sections. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention, curiosity, and interest. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming.